Okay, I'm doing an update on my Harbor Freight solar panel kit. As you can see, the Harbor Freight panels are no longer there. There were four of them, totaling 100 watts. Uh, I've now moved to these new power panels that you can buy on Amazon. They're 100 watts apiece. They now have a total southern exposure, directly south. Um, I made some changes here. And all the, although these still face directly south, um, it's the orientation of the sun in the winter. It starts moving from the east directly, well, not directly to the south, but like a southeastern direction. The sun comes up there. So now they're getting full power here. But in the afternoon, the sun, as it comes around the sky, the southern sky, then it moves a little bit to the west. Of course, the sun used to set there. Now, as the season progresses, the sun is setting more over here. So, as a result, I've changed my orientation of the panels. And I figure that once the sun has disappeared from the new power panels, it has gone back to the uh, Harbor Freight panels, which now have a 100% western exposure, but it'll pick up a little bit to the northwest as, as the sun goes down. Um, I wanted to show you the new power panels don't come with any brackets, so I made up my own with PVC, a little half inch PVC, and just screwed it right to the back of the panel. As you can see, that worked out pretty well. All right, now let's take you down to the basement and show you the other improvements that I've made. Okay, the Harbor Freight kit is a great hobby kit, but if you're going to get serious about solar, you know, you're just dipping your feet into the water, so to speak, when you buy that kit. This was the first thing that bit the bullet. This was the PWM controller, charge controller. It never worked right from the beginning. I could never change the charge parameters on it. I was just... And then finally one day it gave up. So, as a result, I went to a MPPT controller, and this is a, a GCSOAR MPP controller, and it's a 40 amp. I love this thing. It has huge lugs on the bottom that you can put just about any size wire in, and that worked out really well for me. Then I upgraded also the battery. I know, I know, it's not a lithium ion, it's a flooded acid battery. I had one, so I just added another one to it. I figure in the spring, I'll make the update and get rid of these and go with lithium ion. But as for right now, this is what I'm using. I also have a Schumacher uh, battery charger there. And when the batteries drop down, normally they drop down a volt a night. And... This controller or this uh, charger keeps them at 12. It, 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 you know, it doesn't charge anything over 12 volts. So as soon as the sun comes up in the morning, then the panels take over, and away we go again, and we'll be up to 14 volts in no time. Um, these are the updates that I've done so far. I'll put uh, uh, links to the things that I purchased in the description and we'll go from there. If you like what you've seen so far, uh, hit that subscribe button and I'll give you updates again in the future. Thanks for watching.